Hi, I am the owner of this channel, Dawn Dusk. In this channel, I plan to make all type of videos, not only One Piece. That's why, if you're interested, the perspective of the Japanese translator. Today, I'm gonna be going to discuss Buggy. Buggy, the first Devilfruit user pirate to stand in Luffy's way. I think he's going to receive an important title. It's D. Unfortunately, not Buggy the Clown, but possibly related the lineage of the characters we've seen bearing the D. This video will touch upon a possibility that he belongs to the family line of one of the characters we've known with D in their name. What comes to mind when you hear this word, Buggy? This is the answer. First off, the key hint that Buggy is part of the D clan comes from the cover of volume 25. This cover is famous for hinting at the future for emperors. But I think this goat is very important. What does this goat symbolize? The crucial point here is the goat eating paper. In Japanese, kami means paper. But with a different kanji, it can also mean god. So it could imply eating a god. As you all know, D is known as the natural enemy of god in the world of One Piece. Actually, there are many gods in One Piece, so it's unclear which god is being eaten, but it's likely referring to the celestial dragons. Considering that the five elders who debuted in volume 25 are the highest ranking celestial dragons. Luffy and Blackbeard carry D in their names, given that D is referred to as the natural enemy of gods in Marijoa, it suggests that they are being capable of defeating or eating the celestial dragons. On the cover, Luffy, Blackbeard, and Buggy are all shown with their mouths open, while only Shanks has his mouth closed. This is also true for the cover of volume 105. This could imply that only the three of them, excluding Shanks, are eaters of gods, and they are the ones carrying the D name. So if Buggy is a D, who could be his parents be? There are still various possibilities, so please share your thoughts in comments. Let me give you my conclusion. I think his real name is Nefertal D. Buggy. Don't worry, it's not simply his hair color is same with Bibi. Firstly, it's important to talk about the ancestors of Nefertal family. According to Cobra, 800 years ago, Nefertal D. Lily was one of the 20 kings who established the world government. But she chose not to become a celestial dragon and did not return to Alabasta. Consequently, her brother took over the rule of Alabasta. Cobra and Bibi are direct descendants of that brother. This implies that the direct descendants of Lily might also exist in the modern era. I think Buggy could be one of Bibi's descendants. When Ivankov learned that Shanks has been on the ship of pirate king Goldie Roger, he said, every ship has its stains. For the world government, the stain is the Nefertari family, or more precisely, the traitor Nefertari did Lily. The idea that her descendant is Buggy, the stain of the Roja pirates, is intriguing. Next, let's look at blood types. While blood types are often revealed in Bible cards, generally, children inherit their parents' blood types. Luffy, Dragon, and Garp all have F-type blood. Oden is F-type, and Toki is X-type. Their son, Momonosuke, has X-type blood, directly inheriting his mother's blood type. On the other hand, Hiyori has XF-type blood, indicating an inheritance from both parents. In the Nefertal family, the blood types revealed so far are Bibi and Cobra, 
both F-type and Buggy also has F-type blood. Although the blood connection becomes weaker the further you go back in ancestry, having the same blood type and hair color does suggest a familiar link. Now, here's what I really wanted to discuss with you. Im mentioned that Lily released the Poneglyphs. As a result, the Poneglyphs were scattered across the world. So what did Lily do? To put it simply, I think Lily was a user of Barabara Bara fruit, and she divided a massive real pony grip into uh, several pieces, like one piece. The real pony grip, as Robin mentioned, is completed by connecting pony grips containing information and arrows reading the true information. This suggests that the nine information bearing pony grip were originally one. But this giant real pony grip would have been too risky to keep intact as it could easily be found by the world government. Therefore, I think she used the Barabara Bara fruit power to disassemble it. Notably, the Barabara Bara fruit was the second ability introduced after the Gomu Gomu fruits, indicating it might play an important role in the future events. And my hypothesis is that this devil fruit, guided by fate, was inherited by Buggy, a descendant. The glossary suggests that zone fruits have their own will, but Blackbeard once said that Yami Yami no Mi chose him, indicating that even Logia and Parmisha fruits might have some mysterious power or will that leads them to their desired users. This could mean that the Barabara Bara fruits inevitably came into the possession of Buggy, a descendant of its previous user. This fruit concept might also be derived from Egyptian mythology, especially Osiris. According to the Heliopolis mythology, he regime over Egypt as a king. With those help, he taught the people how to cultivate wheat and make bread and wine. However, he was murdered by his jealous brother Seth. Moreover, during this incident, his body was dismembered and thrown into the Nile River. Yes, he was dismembered and died as a result. In the Osirian Temple at Dendera, an inscription describes how wheat paste models of each dismembered piece of Osiris were made and sent out to the town where each piece was discovered by Isis. In the world of One Piece, a god of grain who can dismember himself exists. Do you remember who that is? It's Buggy. Why he is a god of grain? Look at this scene. Buggy's followers call him Nama Buggy. The term Nama means the real thing, used when you encounter someone famous. The subordinate called him Nama Mugi because Nama Bagi sounds like Nama Mugi, which means raw wheat in Japanese. Therefore, this gag scene might also be hinting at the connection between Bagi and Osiris, a deity closely associated with wheat. Finally, let's add an information. I asked you like this. What do you remember when hearing this name, Bagi? Have you ever searched for Bagi on the internet? Let's search it together. Usually, off-road buggies appear in the search results, hinting at connection between buggy and desserts or alabaster. These vehicles are often referred to as doom buggies.